Welcome back to the Series 7 podcast video series. This is Episode 7. In this episode, we're going to be talking about municipal bonds. This is going to be a big section on the Series 7. You're going to need to make sure you understand municipal bonds, and it's something that you're going to be dealing with in your career a lot. So make sure you spend some time understanding this topic, spend some time working through some practice questions, make sure you understand the formulas, and make sure you understand and understand the concepts that we're going to be covering in this episode. First of all, let's start out with talking about the characteristics of municipal bonds. Now, the word municipal, you'll also hear it talked about as munis or tax frees. That's basically the same thing. Municipal bonds, munis, and tax frees are all referring to the same type of bonds. So municipal bonds are issued by states and local governments, also political subdivisions such as sewer districts, water districts, or school districts. The interest on qualified municipal bonds is exempt from federal income tax. Now we'll be talking about what constitutes a qualified municipal bond a little later on. Municipal bonds are issued in fully registered and book entry form. There used to be some bearer bonds prior to 1983, but none have been issued since 1983. And most of those are retired, uh, and if not by now, they will be very quickly, so that probably is not even going to be an issue or a question on the Series 7. But they are not issued in bearer bond form, nor are any other bonds in the United States any more issued in bearer bond form. Most municipal bonds are issued as serial bonds, and we've talked about serial bonds in past video episodes. Every municipal bond must have a legal opinion. And the issuers of the municipal bonds will retain a lawyer called a bond counsel who examines the, the issue and makes sure that it's legally binding and that the interest is exempt from federal tax under the current law. And that bond counsel will issue one of two possible legal opinions, and this legal opinion will be printed on the face of the bond in the case of a uh, registered bond. And if it's not on the registered bond, it'll be on the, the bond indenture if it's a book entry bond. He will either issue an unqualified opinion, which states that basically he didn't find any problems with the issue, and it's a legal issue, and it is exempt from federal tax, or a qualified opinion. And a qualified opinion means that there may be problems with the issue, primarily where it deals with the exemption from federal tax. And again, we're going to be talking about this later on in the podcast. Now, early, when I first started in the business, uh, almost all municipal bonds were tax-free. But then we ch the law changed, and certain bonds that were issued by municipalities cease to be fully tax-free, and some are even taxable now. And we need to make sure you understand that. We'll talk about that later on in this video podcast. Now, when they talk about a level debt service, what they're saying is, in a serial issue, the city or the municipality or the issuer of the bond is going to be paying the same amount from year to year to year. Basically, what they're saying is in the early years, there's going to be fewer maturities of bonds that they have to pay off. And in the later years, there's going to be more maturities. No different than if you were to look at this as a mortgage payment on a house, as you and an individual. You have a level payment throughout the period of that mortgage. That doesn't change from month to month. But over the period of time that you own that mortgage, in the early years in that mortgage, you're paying more interest than principal. And in the later years of that mortgage, you're paying more principal than interest. Well, it's the same on municipal bonds. And level debt service just means that the municipality, the issuing agency, the issuing political division, when they issue a bond, pays the same amount of money out from taxes to services bond 
over the years. Now that's probably a term you'll need to make sure you understand. Two types of bonds. There's general obligation bonds, and general obligation bonds are considered the highest rated bonds as a general rule, and they carry the full faith and credit of the issuing municipality. They're considered the least risky of the bonds because general obligations have the full taxing authority, including, here's a term you'll need to understand, the ad valorem of the municipality available for the payment of the interest and debt service. Some types of taxes include property taxes, income taxes, sales taxes, and you've been around long enough, you know that Governments can come up with all sorts of taxes. Just use your imagination. But a general obligation bond carries the full faith and credit of the taxing authority issuing those bonds. Now, the term ad valorem, it's Latin for according to value. 